If we look at these blocks, and I ask you, what's the probability that a block is red? You would say, well, there are 10 red blocks, there are 38 blocks in the sample space, so 10 out of 38 would be my answer. And of course, you could simplify that fraction or turn it into a decimal, but that doesn't change the fact that really you have 10 chances to get something that's red out of 38. Now, conditional probability means that you know something. Like, what if I asked you, what's the probability of getting a red block given that you have a vowel? So when you're given something, that means you know some additional information. So take the set of vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and Y. So given that you have a vowel, what's the probability that it's red? So now, basically what you're doing is sort of artificially limiting your sample space to only include vowels. So we know in this case, there are six vowels, five of them are red. So now your probability of getting red, given that you have a vowel, is five out of six. So let's ask a slightly different conditional probability question. So we had just considered what's the probability that you get red if you know you have a vowel. So given that there's a vowel, what's the probability of red? Well now, let's say given that you have something that's red, so you know that it's red, what's the probability it's a vowel? So basically you're restricting your sample space only to these 10 red blocks. And of those 10, we have one, two, three, four, five that are vowels. So if you have a red block, there's a five in 10 chance that it's a vowel.